it's, it's this particular part of the world has a sort of magical quality to it. Right? It's, uh, everyone knows that, I and mean, it's pretty obvious. But in, <coughs> in each play or part you go to, they're all quite different and unique, which is amazing as well. Yeah, yeah, and the time of the day is yes, it's crucial. critical too. So. Yeah. And the weather, and the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Not only surface uh, subject to the weather, it's painted as well. Yeah, people have said, um, so do you take the cameras out there and, and um, set it up on the easel? <laughs> Wouldn't um, get much time. Uh, yeah, well, we'd sort of, sometimes we'd probably see it blowing over the hill. <laughs> flying off. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm going to come get some more canvas. <laughs> At what point on your blank canvas do you decide where to start painting? Ooh. That's a good question. <laughs> well, actually, most of the work is done like in a, you know, my, when I went to art school, I had a brilliant teacher called Fred Chris. I don't know if you've ever heard of Fred Chris. He was um, very fine. But he said, you know, start very loose, you know, work very, very loosely, as, as loose as possible, and then slowly bring it up sharper and sharper and finer. And, and that's exactly what I uh, followed. So the whole thing's done very broadly with a lot of very unpainting, which is quite broad with large brushes. And then finally start to get finer and finer. So I start from a brush that big to a brush, you know, finishing tiny. off with a tiny. So you can start like with one colour and take it all the way across? Uh, yeah, well I'll do, you know, brushing, loosely brushing the sky and all this colour in the background here, and there and here, and then start working Forwards. Over the top. Mm. Otherwise, it's a nightmare. If you, <laughs> yeah. if you try, I, I did that initially. I would start. I'd work from the top. I'd sort of say, okay, well, I get the sky here, and then I'll start working down. Yeah. But then you've got all these things that you know things have to be superimposed on something else, and you can't you can't paint that and this at the same time. You've got to paint that first, uh, and then put this over the top. Otherwise. You've got all these issues going on. Yeah, <laughs> I think you probably get the get the gist. So, yeah, so it's it's working very loosely first, and then coming up to the fine detail. Yeah. And no pencils, you know, pencil sketch at first. Uh, sometimes I do, <coughs> yeah, depending on complexity of how. <coughs> yeah, I do that. Or with fine charcoal. Yeah. Do you Uh, I don't think I've ever actually abandoned them. No, I don't think I have. I think I've usually worked, worked through it, or if I get really angry with it, I might just work over the top of it and do something else. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I don't have any romantic stories about you know, he burned 50 of his paintings because <laughs> uh, he was so unhappy with it and then went, went out and got drunk. <coughs> <laughs> Could do that, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I have 50 paintings to burn. So. Yeah. <coughs> I have a question. I'd like to know what your favourite piece is that you've had in this exhibition. Well, the uh, one behind me is. I'm pretty happy with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And the <coughs> white up rocks. Mm. Yeah. And, Gee whiz. Yeah, they're all pretty good. They're all pretty good, right? <laughs> I really like how you use, you know, with your skies. You know, you look at it, some people, they get, you've got different sky, skies and oceans. <clears throat> but the light that you use, especially this one, mm. the light filtering through the sky and then on the ocean and then the reflecting through the foreground water and the sand, when you sand, it's really, really yeah. nice way how you capture light mm. as well. Yeah, the waves and the ocean and the carries <laughs> I think right, the, the yeah, light, the light. light is the key to it, really. I mean, because mm -hmm. I'm a, I was a photographer <clears throat> before I was a painter, I was just sort of spent more time in photography. Um, and that's just light, I mean, it's just working mm. with light, and you get to understand how light works. <clears throat> and how light, you know, can fall on a particular level, where the shadow falls, and the kind of tones in the shadows. And, and then you are primarily attracted to water mm. everywhere you go. Pretty much. Not many, are there any landscapes that you think uh, would be of interest to you as a painter? Well, I've done a, done a few, I've done two Kimberley shows. Mm. Um, 
Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 